Hey, みなさん、こんにちは。Welcome to Speak Japanese. Naturally, I'm Fumi. So today's video is for you to practice pitch accent. For those of you who've never heard of the word pitch accent, I give you a quick explanation. That is、uh, changing tone. Like, for example, when you say、eh, Nihongo, which means the Japanese language. Nihongo. So it's Nihongo. When you say Ho, your tone is higher than Ni. So, Nihongo, Nihongo. And if you say Nihongo, that's very strange. It's Nihongo, not Nihongo. So, those high and lows i s important. Every word has certain pitch accent. So, knowing that and saying that, saying things with the correct pitch accent is Actually, crucial to sound natural. So, today I prepared a small conversation which you can use in real life. And what I'd like you to do is first listen carefully, you know, being aware of the pitch accent, and then second, repeat it many times with the correct pitch accent. And third and finally, this is the most important part. Record yourself and listen to yourself. If you've never done this before, you might feel odd or you might feel you know, a little bit embarrassed, but this is very important. Like you listen to yourself objectively, so you will know what your problems are. So do this, and if you do this, but if you don't know if you're doing right, in that case, Uh, let me help you. Upload the audio to somewhere and send me the link. I'll make another video, and in that video, I use your audio and give you some advice there.、Uh, I can't promise to give feedbacks to all of you, but I try to、uh, as many as I can. So pl- if you need my help, please upload the audio and send me the link. Okay, so here's The conversation. So, in this scenario, you are taking an online Japanese lesson and your teacher asks you a question, and that's where the conversation starts. First, listen to this conversation and be aware of the pitch. アニメを見ます。いいですね。何のアニメですか？東京リベンジャーズです。So let me give you a quick,、uh, quick explanation of this script. So 今日は means today and この後 is after this。何をしますか？ What are you going to do? So します。In this case, it means future thing. Okay, so. What do you do? What are you gonna do after this lesson? And Netflix, Netflix is, of course, Netflix. And you can shorten this as Netflix. Anime o m i m a s is I'm going to watch anime. And いいですね you can use いいですね、uh, when you hear something nice or something good. Nano is what? So, what anime it is? Nano anime desu ka? And Tokyo Revengers desu. So, this time, please repeat after me sentence by sentence and be aware of the pitch. Netflix でアニメを見ます。アニメを見ます。いいですね。いいですね。何のアニメですか。何のアニメですか。東京リベンジャーズです。東京リベンジャーズです。And this time, let's do shadowing. So you say it right after you hear it and imitate the pitch accent, intonation, and pronunciation, everything. Okay? 今日はこの後何をしますか Netflix で
アニメを見ますいいですね何のアニメですか東京リベンジャーズです OK so now the natural speed いきますよ今日はこの後何をしますかネットフリックスでアニメを見ますいいですね何のアニメですか東京リベンジャーズです Uh, if you want to, you can change this anime to 映画 the movies, or ドラマ。Okay? 映画、ドラマ。映画、ドラマ。And also, of course, you can change the title to what you like. And also, there's one thing I have to tell you that nowadays people sometimes say anime, or 映画 or ドラマ。You know? So, Both are okay. And I found a very interesting video. There's a girl and she says drama and drama both in a very short period of time. She will say drama three times. And I want you to listen carefully and guess what pitch accent she used. So now let's listen. Hey, k o n n i c h i w a Kyo wa, s a s u k desu kedo, eh, to, kai gai drama. 私が今まで見てきた中で、えー、といっぱい好きなドラマあるんですけどすごく印象に残ってるっていうか好きなドラマをちょっとご紹介したいと思ってます。Okay, so how was it?So first she said 海外ドラマ。海外ドラマ。海外ドラマ is a compound word. 海外 means overseas. And ドラマ is, you know, ドラマ。When they get together, the pitch changes to 海外ドラマ。Because there's a rule that in one word, one speech drops, it never goes up. So, you know, if you say Kai Gai Dorama, that's so strange. So it is Kai Gai Dorama. So she said Kai Gai Dorama. Kai Gai Dorama. And the second time she said Dorama. But the third time she said it was Dorama. Hey, k o n n i c h i w a Kyo wa, s a s u k desu kedo. えっ、ー、と海外ドラマ私が今まで見てきた中でえっ、ー、といっぱい好きなドラマあるんですけどすごく印象に残ってるっていうか好きなドラマをちょっとご紹介したいと思ってます。So she used both and I use both. Nowadays more and more people might use アニメ or ドラマ or 映画 But at the same time, people use drama, eiga, anime. And when we think about kaigai drama, the drama is do drama. So I think it's easier for you to remember just one pitch accent, this one.、Eh, anime, drama, eiga. Okay? So anyway, you can change the words and you can change your answer. Like for example, 今日はこの後何をしますか今日は勉強します。I'm gonna study. Or, この後あ夕飯を作ります。I'm gonna make dinner. Or, ちょっと外に出かけます。I'm gonna go out. Or whatever you like. And if you need my help, please upload the audio to somewhere and send me the link. Okay? So, when you listen to something, just be aware of the pitch accent and practice saying that. With the same pitch as the speaker speaks. But Kansai dialect or other dialect, the pitch accent of those are different from、uh, standard Japanese,、uh, which is actually Tokyo dialect, which is spoken around Tokyo area. If you want to practice standard Japanese pitch accent, then just remember to choose、uh, the people who speak the standard Japanese. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! またね頑張ってね